Welcome to our Dungeon Full Dive tutorial. We'll be breaking down all the things you can do with Dungeon Full Dive to get you playing as quickly as possible. From the main menu, we can start a game, make a character, or go into the map builder. Let's start with a look at the character creator. When you click on characters, you'll find a collection of ready-made heroes. You can also create your own hero from scratch. Click the plus icon and a new hero will appear. Click the edit button to make changes. In the body category, you can change your character's body type, height, and skin color. Under the species tab, you can change your character's species. Each species type has different ability score increases based on the 5th edition rule set, which you can learn in the description box. From here, you can change the face, ears, hair, and eyes of your character. Once you're satisfied, you can click the clothing tab and change the outfit of your hero. Now that you're properly dressed, it's time to work on that character sheet. Click the character sheet tab and you can apply your character information here. You can fill in your character's stats, strength, dexterity, constitution, etc. The game automatically calculates your skill checks for you. When you're all done, click the save icon at the top right of the sheet. This will lock in your stats. Click the save button at the top right of the screen and you'll return to the main menu. Clicking on map building brings up a list of official, public, and custom maps you've made. From here, you can choose from a wide variety of pre-made maps to directly use in your campaign. If you want to alter a pre-made map, click on the map you want to edit and click Load Edit. Now that we're in the map builder, let's go over the camera controls. Use WASD to move the camera, click and hold the right mouse button to rotate the camera. Use the middle mouse button to zoom in or out. Let's check out some of the assets available to us. If you want to place a new asset, you can left click it inside the asset browser. A set of controls will appear on the left detailing what you can do with the item. Q and E lets you rotate the element. Holding control keeps an asset at the height that it currently sits at. You can also hold the shift key to keep an object upright. Then click the left mouse button again to place the object wherever you want, and you can place it multiple times. Hit the spacebar when you're done with that item. If you click on an already placed asset, you can drag it around. Let go of the left mouse button to place the object. If you right click on a placed object, a context menu will appear that allows you to scale the object up or down, rotate it around its axis, or delete it. You can also duplicate it. This makes it easy to place an asset again instead of having to search for it. You'll find that all the items are categorized to make finding what you need easier. Architecture for buildings, environment for set dressing items, flora for plants and rocks, etc. If you need to find a specific item, use the search bar at the top of the browser. At the top of the screen, the central icon takes you to the terrain editor. The terrain editor allows you to do just that, adjust any terrain on the map. You can adjust how large the adjustments you want to make are and how fast. You can then build mountains from the earth or dig lakes and rivers. You can change the landscape by adding grassy banks, stony paths, or even sandy patches. You can also adjust the pattern of your landscape creation with the shaping tools at the top. At the top right, you'll find a button that will let you change the current mode you're in. Play mode lets you test your map to make sure everything works how you want. You can also activate the miniature browser to add NPCs and hero minis to the board. The menu button is to the right of the floor button where you can change options, return to menu, and so on. If you're happy with your changes to the map, click the save button at the top of the screen. From the main menu, click on play online to start playing. In the game browser, you can see any public games that are currently open. You can also directly join a friend's game by entering their lobby code into the field on the bottom left. But now let's create our own game to show you how to set it up. On the top, you can switch the visibility of your lobby to private or public. Start the game by clicking launch. Once the game is loaded, the chat window will be open inside the sidebar showing the invitation code. You can send this code to another player to have them join your session. The sidebar also holds other options as well. You can switch to the note tab and take notes in game or use the map settings tab to change the map or change the mood. You'll also find a feedback button where you can inform the devs of any bugs found or suggestions you might want to pass along. From here, you can begin your session like any other tabletop game. Press tab to open up a tool menu, giving you access to dice, rulers, and the full dive menu, which we'll get into in a bit. The ruler tool allows you to measure distances on the map. Simply press left click to start measuring. You can split the ruler by right clicking. Pressing left again stops the measuring. To throw your dice, click dice from the tab menu. 
Here you can select what dice and how many you want to throw. Once selected, click and hold the dice floating on the screen with the left mouse button. Shake the dice to your heart's content and let go of the left mouse button to roll. The dice results will appear on the screen. If you need to roll a skill check or saving throw, hit the C button to check your character sheet and press the skill check you need. Throw your dice and the game will do the rest. You can also use the edit button on the character sheet to edit your hit points. Now comes the fun part. In Dungeon Full Dive, you have the ability to dive into a character on the board. Hit tab and click on Full Dive. This will give you the option to full dive into a character. In the full dive mode, you're looking at the world through the eyes of your hero. Use WASD to move, mouse to look around, control to crouch, shift to run. As the DM, you can also control your player's full dive. If you want to change if players can freely full dive, press escape and visit the session settings. You can pick up items in the game world by pressing F near them. Use the right mouse button to hold up your hands and see what you have equipped. Press F again to drop the item currently in your hand. If you prefer classic tabletop mode, you can switch back using the same menu. While in tabletop mode, you can also start the map builder and add map assets while playing with your friends. If your characters enter a building, you can also use the floor buttons in the top right, which will allow you to see into the buildings by floor. Now you're ready to tabletop roleplay like never before. Keep an eye on the Steam page for updates on new content. Also, feel free to send suggestions and feedback within the game so that we can improve. We hope you enjoy Dungeon Full Dive.